we are today, whether we like it or not, forced to research the following question. Are we at risk of destabilizing the planet? You know, climate change is not hitting somewhere else. We're all in the same boat and it's hitting very fast in every corner of the planet. I am driven by the freedom that material wealth creates so I can enjoy this beautiful, miraculous planet. I wasn't going to be able to aggregate and deploy enough capital unless the solution was free market-based and profitable. We just want to aggregate the capital and put it where it needs to go as fast as possible, because obviously we don't have time. Sustainable investing, impact investing, double bottom line, triple bottom line, values-based investing, it's just investing. The only way to solve complex problems, which we have, is through systems change. We can use capitalism to do what it can do, and we need to move trillions. We need to bring huge amounts of money and invest them uh, now in right segments. The scientific conclusion is also quite hopeful because of all the drama I just shared with you, we also need to remind everyone that the window is still open to avoid you know, for us pushing ourselves beyond that tipping point that could take us to irreversible change. The planet is warning us, and we should take those warnings very seriously, and we have the technologies, and we know it's possible to succeed. Everything must now be sustainable. I mean, why would we debate whether we want to save our future and have a home to live on? I'm told that by 2050, if we don't do something about it, two-thirds of the planet will be a gray land. And we must preserve the planet for the future generations. We have put all these messages for our patients in every clinic. You see, trying to explain to them that it is our lifestyle which is causing most diseases. And that's where we are coming from. I think there are a lot of fairy tales underway in sustainability. People are hooked up to the same stories for decades. Just reducing the unsustainability of the past is not bringing sustainability for the future. In the end, it's the people who do conscious decisions or not. And, and, and the world we, we live in is the, the way it is because we, the people, are actually living these lives that are causing these issues. And, you know, this notion of doing less harm is fine, we'll take it, but it's not enough. Fine, thank you for doing whatever it is that you did, but it's too late for a lot of greenwashing. So it just shows that we really need to understand the whole system, one, but we also need to hold hands. We need to have business policy and business together at every step. And I think this is, you know, not only a necessary thing, it's just potentially the most exciting new step in human development ever occurring. It's like the new, it's like rebooting our relationship between people and planet. I look at the transition from a high carbon to a low carbon economy as the biggest investment opportunity in human history.